hear from you. So good. From parking lot to place of God, in a matter of a few well-measured moves. Lord, you ought to stand to your feet and tell him. Amen. Amen. At the end of this chord is Miss Augustus. She provides the electricity. St. Vincent de Paul lets them use the parking lot. And from there, they come from all over. Every one of them walking. Most of them homeless. All of them here to touch the closest person to God I've met in a while. Pastor Joe Moore. They used to lovingly call this the first church of the parking lot. Now they've selected and settled on open air ministry. You see, Pastor Joe Moore preaches in what some would call that old time way. I will praise thee. Behold, I stand at your heart door and I knock and if any man will hear my voice. Come on, somebody. He believes in his heart, in his soul, in his very knees. to eat, you just didn't even have a quarter to buy a honey bun. And when nobody was looking, you flipped in it. Come on now. Yes, indeed. On any given Sunday, he has dozens and dozens, sometimes hundreds of people show up anywhere they can get a spot. But let all that I am do what? Praise the Lord. And we've actually received several nominations for Pastor Joe Moore. The last one from Mr. Mike Grace. All of them say the same thing. This man is truly and simply what you see is what you get. And it was time to let Pastor Moore know that we were really here to honor him. Joe, um, I didn't tell him all the truth this morning. I told him Channel 9 was coming to film us so we would get some good free publicity. But really, Joe, this is a lot about you. This ministry's uh, got a lot of people involved with it, but the glue that makes this whole thing work is Brother Joe Moore, y'all's yeah. pastor. Yeah. Yeah. And this, you clothe them, you help feed them, you help them find jobs, you get them bicycles. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's above and beyond the call of duty. And on behalf of your flock and your congregation, uh, here's $300 from the program. Yeah. One of our first handed on standing ovations. Now I said earlier they come from all over to hear and touch a true man of God. And before anyone leaves, Pastor Moore makes sure he touches them. The Lord be with you. Come on, tell him. I'm going to share in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. I'm going to let it shine. With photographer Brandon Shackelford and for handed on, I'm Greg Merriweather. WAFB 9 News. This particular handed on really touched a lot of people, specifically Pastor Joe Moore. Yeah, I'm gonna lay down. And his passion for preaching and teaching those who are often overlooked. Speaking of touching Pastor Moore, if you'll remember, he never lets you leave until he touches you and blesses you the best way he can. That brings us to these thousands of pages of the good book. A man gave us these and asked us to hand them on to Pastor Moore and to his open air ministry anonymously. See, it's just basically the deal. So. Oh man, this, this is exactly what they've been asking for. Big writing and highlighted. This would be great. Yeah, okay, good, good. I'm glad you like it. A whole set of Bibles to be given out so all these folks will have something to kind of keep up with Pastor Moore, if that's even possible. Uh, it's been such an inspirational uh, experience for me, and, and I, I want to just say thank you, you know, uh, from, on behalf of myself, the YMCA, and Open Air Ministry uh, to all those who have responded so, uh, you know, kindly and with all the compassion. These Bibles are just one example of the power of our Handed On project. It's not ever just been about the $300 gift. It's about the gifts that come after that and the ones that keep on coming after that and then just keep on coming. The person that gave these Bibles, they are going to be uh, well used. We, we do have homeless that uh, 
read along with me in church service. They have been asking for Bibles that they can read and understand, and this sort of Bible will come and uh, really come in, in great use. With photographer Brandon Shackelford and for Hand It On, I'm Greg Merriweather, WAFB 9 News. When we first met Pastor Joe Moore, he was busy taking a parking lot and transforming it into a place of God in a matter of a few well-measured moves. Okay, go. Right, there you go. Now he's also transforming lives in a matter of a few well-measured mows. Right, the money, the $300 that were given to me, uh, handed on, uh, I use it as a seed to start this lawnmower services uh, so that we can put the guys to work because there's a perception that the homeless are lazy and don't want to work and that's, you know, far from the truth. There are many who do want to work and uh, don't mind working uh, and I'm always talking to, preaching to them about doing something, getting, so when I got this $300, that was a, a, a real opportunity for me to put my uh, money where my mouth was. So from hand it on to literally handing it on, Pastor Joe Moore gathers a dozen or so men, all of them homeless or at least about to be, and he gives them a job. Okay, cool. cool. Today they're working on the new YMCA. The director here says the men do a tremendous job, the best he's seen. And it's that job part that helps with the real transformation going on here. One of these men has a girlfriend and a new baby. They live at the shelter. He lives under a bridge. Now he has a job and a plan. You know, just to, to, to resurrect that uh, a man's uh, dignity, uh, to give him back his self-worth, uh, to help him uh, uh, reestablish his, uh, his uh, integrity, his character, uh, it, it means a whole lot. And it all starts with a man just being able to put a few dollars in his pocket, you know. Right. No real man want to wait for another man to take care of him. Uh, all real men have a desire to really want to, you know, do something. Now, while the bright colored shirts are certainly hard to miss, the slogan on the front of them is hard to forget. It says, we don't just cut grass, we transform lawns and lives. Cutting grass doesn't seem like much, but for them, uh, at the end of the day, it's a difference between having a meal or a place to stay on the inside uh, uh, compared to not having a place to stay. With photographer Brandon Shackelford and for Hand It On, I'm Greg Merriweather, WAFB 9 News. It has been an absolute pleasure finding and sharing the stories of wonderful people in our community this year. It's hard to believe it, but we've been doing Hand It On now for three years. We've met some awesome people along the way. This year, I decided to pick one of my favorites and call them our Hand It On Person of the Year. Pastor Joe Moore, he proves to me that angels don't always wear flowing robes and wings. Angels have learned, well, they get down with you. They aren't afraid to get their hands dirty. They are Pastor Joe Moore. We first met Pastor Joe Moore during one of his parking lot church services for the homeless. Friends, this service has grown. Sometimes 100 people, sometimes 200 people, sometimes more than that. Pastor Joe Moore now from the parking lot where it all started. People getting, you know, more people are getting saved, more homeless folks are being, you know, helped as a result of it. Uh, I've truly been blessed individually uh, as, a, uh, as a pastor and one who's been called to, to come and minister to the, to the uh, homeless. My, my life has been deeply enriched by, uh, by this ministry. And, and even coming in contact with others, uh, other churches involved, uh, my life have been greatly impacted and changed. A lot of you have called and asked how you could help Pastor Moore. Well, one group in Livingston Parish bought his church cases, cases of nice Bibles. <laughs> Pastor Moore took our $300 and invested it as a seed for a lawn service that hires homeless people. Given to me, uh, handed on. Uh, I use it as a seed to start this lawnmower services uh, 
so that we can put the guys to work because there's a perception that the homeless are lazy and don't want to work and that's you know far from the truth there are many who do want to work and uh, don't mind working uh, and I'm always talking to preaching to them about doing something getting so when I got this three hundred dollars that was a, a, a real opportunity for me to put my uh, money where my mouth was. Friends, I tell you, if you ever come across Pastor Moore out and about, take the time to stop and talk with him. Trust me, you will be glad you did. Pastor Joe Moore, our 2012 Handed On Person of the Year. I'm Greg Merriweather, WAFB 9 News. We all know the giants that come to mind when you think of Black History Month. But before you can have a dream that changes the world or refuse to give up your seat on a bus and launch a movement, before history remembers you for decades, you have to start with just the day before you. And on this day, Pastor Joe is busy passing out blessings in a box. Since 17 years ago, I had an opportunity to come out and preach one Sunday. And uh, after that, it was, uh, it, it was like my calling. In my neighborhood. When we first met Pastor Joe Moore, he was busy taking a parking lot and transforming it into a place of God in a matter of a few well-measured moves. You ought to stand to your feet and tell him. Amen. Amen. At the end of this cord is Miss Augustus. She provides the electricity. St. Vincent de Paul lets them use the parking lot. And from there, they come from all over. Every one of them walking. Most of them homeless. All of them here to touch the closest person to God I've met in a while. Pastor Joe Moore. You, uh, Brother Greg, something about uh, feel like you're doing something to really make a difference. Uh, in a person's life, seeing someone getting, you know, uh, something hot, a uh, love bag, uh, maybe with a can of Vienna sausage with some socks and deodorant, toothpaste, uh, uh, something fresh. Not just to see the smile on their face, but see the smile in their soul, in their spirit, a uh, 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 warmth that, that somebody really, you know, really, really cares. You see, like any good Bible-knowing preacher, Pastor Moore knows that faith without works is dead. So this is just what that has looked like over the years. Thank you for giving us a new day, one that we've not seen before. We ask you, dear God, to watch over our families, our mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, wherever they might be. And dear God, please forgive us of all of our sins, myself included, our open sins, our hidden sins, our secret sins. I'll pass sins. Okay, go right there. You go. Pastor Moore even started a lawn ministry that hires homeless people to cut lawns. And I, I believe just take both hands, put them to work. So one of them gonna bring in a blessing. And since uh, with the homeless, and, and not to put down or make fun, but if you, you know they're already kind of cut up and bruised up and got a little dirt on the fingernail, put them to work. And ain't gonna hurt you at all. To, you know, you never know what the day gonna bring. It's better than holding a sign saying, God help me, uh, bless me, you know, but you can actually do something for yourself. And soon this truck will be on the roads, helping those who need it and then passing it on. So our history in black and white reads differently. And if this reporter might offer just this observation, February is set aside for profiles in black history. But what Pastor Joe Moore does this month and will do next month, and the month after that, and the ones after that, and all that he's done up into this point. I will praise thee. Behold, I stand at your heart door and I knock and if any man will hear my voice. Come on, somebody. Over all of the years, you probably won't read about that in the history books, but you should. Old song used to say, I, um, I, I'm going to stay on the battlefield for my Lord. I promise him that I will die, uh, serve him till I die. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. So um, however he do it, it's going to be well done. We've all heard the saying, faith without work is dead. Those words are what led Pastor Joe Moore to this point. This is where God assigned me. This one comes up like this. See, for the past decade, Pastor Moore has made it his mission to help the homeless. 
but his motivation is a bit more personal than what some may know. I've actually lived in a car, I've abandoned buildings, and I can relate to what they're going through. That passion birthed a business, one that hires the homeless to cut lawns. Moore says it started with a donation of a few hundred bucks and grew into something where he can hire about 10 guys for four days out of the week and pay them well above minimum wage. He says he'll go directly to these homeless camps or even stop in the middle of the street and ask people if they want to work. And I try to get a little bit of everybody, not the same people, but get some new ones so everybody can kind of get a chance to, you know, help themselves. Moore says if we want to solve our homeless problem, we must push our judgments to the side and put these opportunities directly in their hands. It's the, that child that I see in them uh, when they were young and first born and precious. So I get past all that and, and help the individual who's crying out because that's someone, a voice on the inside saying, help me, you know, I, can you help me? And for more, he says this isn't a task. It's more of a hobby. I've just enjoyed doing it, you know, to see a smile on someone's face, uh, to be able to help someone unconditionally uh, and not expect anything, but just to see that joy and knowing that you met somebody's need in the course of the day. That joy is what pushes him day in and day out. Sometimes a good deed is better than any sermon you can minister.